No! Bother! Right. Where were we then? Yes, the jungles of the Dutch East Indies. Borneo, Java, Sumatra, Brunei. These were just some of the many exotic places Lampton drillers travelled to. In fact, if you were to eavesdrop on any conversation in downtown Petrolia in the early 1900s, you were more likely than not going to hear discussions about Touareg nomads or cannibals from Borneo. These Lambton boys were probably the best travelled Canadians of the time. Edward Winnett left Oil Springs in 1897 to work in the new oil fields of Sumatra. There, Edward experienced what most did, culture shock. For someone used to a simple life in Lambton's wide open spaces, the severe crowding and poverty of the Dutch East Indies, the wildly different customs and dress, the sounds and the smells were all a bit overwhelming. Living in a fine home on the riverfront with abundant tropical fruit trees growing nearby, Quinnett soon adapted to the new strange life. Most of the other western oil drillers were from oil springs of Petrolia, so there was usually a familiar face nearby. The tropical heat and fierce sun taught him to adopt the unofficial uniform of the Canadian foreign driller, the white muslin suit. Quinnett helped to build oil tanks and a refinery, he was proud to say that he was the first to build a boiler in all of Sumatra. His industrial skills learned in Canada put him in good stead as he oversaw construction of a railroad, oil tanks and a 200 kilometre pipeline to the coast. Quinnett wrote home of elephants and tigers prowling in the jungle, blood-sucking leeches, huge snakes and fierce wild boars. He was able to send $90 a month back to his family, but the price of being away from his loved ones was too much. A year after arriving, Edward returned home, never to venture abroad again. <laughs>